Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we are doing a gypsy card reading. We are asking the question, what shall we embrace? What shall we embrace in our lives at this moment that's going to help us to go forward? What is it that we need to focus on in order to move forward? And what is it that we need to allow into our lives as we go ahead? So the original um, uh, footage uh, or the video that I recorded here where I pointed out the options and did the, uh, the introduction, it was actually destroyed, unfortunately. And so I'm just going to go ahead and read it out. So you have five options here. You have the first option is, uh, and excuse my French pronunciations um, here, it's the first option is Le Jeu uh, Destin Antique. Okay, the second option is Art Deco. The third option is Biedermeier Ausschlagkarten. And uh, the, the fourth option is Le Petit uh, Cato Mancier. And uh, the fifth option is the Zigeuner uh, Wahrsagen, Wahrsager Karten, Wahrsager Karten. So uh, go ahead and uh, make your selection. It's uh, either option one, two, three, four, or five. And I'll put that also down in, in, the, descri in the description box below. So you can just uh, make your selection go directly to your video. And for those of you who've chosen the first option here, uh, the card deck is called, and excuse my French pronunciation, I think it's called uh, uh, Le Jeu Destin Antique. These are the cards right here. And we're asking, once again, the question, what shall we embrace? Okay, so what shall we embrace? And once again, the audio for these and some of the, the video for this um, video has been destroyed. And so I've had to re... Um, record some of the audio for this um yeah not all of it but some of it and you'll find that there are differences so uh, here are the first cards coming through So here we have these cards um, that basically talk about the combination of them talking uh, together. They have quite different meanings, actually. Um, I feel here that the that what you need to embrace going forward is trust in your success, in your financial su success particularly. I trust that it's all going to be well financially. Trust that you're going to have all that you need. Trust that something good is coming towards you in terms of your well-being, your financial well-being, your abundance, your wealth, generally speaking. There needs to be a knowingness here about what, uh, about how well off you are, about how well you're doing in your life. And so what you need to embrace is not worrying about your finances, not thinking too much about it, but just simply knowing that it's all going to be okay and that you will be provided for and that you have all uh, that you need. It also beckons the new beginning of something, uh, a financial venture. So you can be hopeful about that and look forward to that. There's a sense here also that you need to be on lookout for what you say to people about your your financial well-being, about your 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 material status. You need to uh, be careful about what you say about it. You need to be careful about how you you look after your what it is that that is yours how you protect what it is that is yours and to be able to be on the lookout for uh, what what is actually happening like so to not just be in the clouds and and be hopeful about your well-being your financial well-being but rather to be quite alert and and to be able to defend what is yours uh, to be able to look at what is going on around you and to be able to adjust yourself accordingly and to protect, protect yourself because you can't quite be in a state where you are uh, manifesting or, or looking at your well-being in, uh, and, and thinking about, you know, uh, being hopeful about it and thinking about how it's going to expand, how, how well off you're going to be, how comfortable you're going to be, and then also uh, having the energy of being worried around you. So it's about making sure that what is going on around you is settled and taken care of and that you've put the right uh, security measures in place so that you can actually take care of what is needed. So the advice here, how would I translate that for, to, to you? It's what shall we embrace? Well, we should embrace some degree of uh, responsibility as far as looking 
looking after what is ours and securing what is ours. So ensuring that uh, secure you, you are taking care of that. And then the next step would be to ensure that you are in a space where you able to focus on what it is that you desire. Now, this is not just to do with material well-being, but it can be also to do with your with your health. It could also have to do with looking after your body. And so uh, here it's about looking, making sure that you are taking care of yourself and uh, looking after your body and, and taking making sure that you're not actually eating or drinking anything that's going to be harming your body so being on the lookout for what it is that is uh, uh that is you know coming into your life that is not good for you so that could also mean reading ingredients on things that you're buying and before you buy it before you consume it etc and and ultimately it's to hold yourself in a good space to be able to um create and 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 to be able to manifest the good health and wealth that you have in your life and that you can have in your life. And this is a kind of confirmation of abundance. Now, there's another message in here as well. And that is not to be too lost in your dreams, um, too lost in yourself, not to be able to uh, to, to um, understand what's going on in terms of your relationships, what's going on, what are the complications that are arising in, in your relationships. And, uh, you know, it could indicate a time of confusion that can lead to problems in the relationship if things are not resolved. So I think that here um, with the, you know, while you're taking care of yourself, while you're focusing on your health and your wealth and your well-being, perhaps also in terms of your work and your projects and your studies or whatever it is that brings you your income, I think here, uh, or, or promises to bring you an income, I think here also be aware of what is uh, what are others? What are the others thinking about you, especially in terms of uh, relationships with people close to you? So perhaps family members, friends that are close to you, friends that are living with you, uh, partners, boyfriends, girlfriends, etc. And so it's it's important to be aware of what's going on and not to just have your head in the clouds and not to 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 neglect those relationships. So I think that um, don't while you're taking care of yourself, as you embrace looking after yourself and and caring for yourself just be also aware of what is going on around you and so that you're not isolating yourself or alienating yourself from people that are close to you and that there isn't confusion caused as to what is going on with you so i feel so to just sum this up it's basically focus on you and and maintain what is important for you in terms of your uh, your health, your financial well-being, uh, in terms of your material well-being, and and be hopeful for that. Don't be don't be negative about it. Don't be pessimistic around it. And then also make sure that you can safeguard everything that you know you have already, uh, so that you're not making losses in the process, um, whether it be you know with your health or or your wealth. And then also ensure that you're protecting yourself from any um, poisonous influences that are coming into your life. And then the last message here is as to what to embrace. Well, make sure that you're taking care of your relationships as you go along and you're not neglecting your relationships as you focus on yourself. And so uh, to, uh, just to sum that up completely, uh, what shall we embrace? Well, you shall embrace the well your well-being and ensure that that is taken care of. Uh, prioritize that and, uh, and as you do so, ensure that what you have already is taken care of and in that including your relationships as well all right so i'm going to leave that with you there uh, i feel that that is what the message is here and as you go ahead uh just make sure that you are not short uh changing yourself when it comes to your well-being your financial well-being especially and that you're not uh setting your sights too too low but that you are actually looking forward and you are thinking about what can be in the future all right so i'm wishing you all the best many blessings to you and uh yeah good luck as you go along and for those of you who've chosen the second option which is the art deco fortune telling cards we're asking the question what shall we embrace what is it that we need to embrace at this particular time as we go ahead so i'm just going to give these cards a shuffle
So for those of you who've chosen the option number two, the question we're asking is, what shall we embrace? And these are quite a particular set of cards, so this combination of cards together sits quite peculiarly with uh, with each other. Um, there's several meanings to these cards, and the first meaning that comes to mind is that it's okay for change to occur. It's okay for the ending of something and the beginning of something new. And with that, you may need help, and you may need help from somebody who you don't really want to accept help from, but it's okay to accept that. It's okay to embrace the help of another, even though at the at at doing so, in doing so, you may be sacrificing something, perhaps your pride, perhaps something something that's of importance to you. But at the end, um, you will have something that is a, a reward. You might have a union of some sort. You might have a, some kind of cooperation. You might have found... Uh, love in some kind of form and at but there will be some commitment there will be some certainty of commitment as a result of the actions that you take so it's talking here about not being afraid to embrace the an ending and not being afraid to embrace help even from those who you do not deem fit to give you those that help or you do not um really want to accept that help from and not to mourn um, to to grieve not to grieve the loss of something that you once considered uh, really important because from that from that can be born something else um, which can have a new life so it's it's really saying you know don't be stuck too much in the past don't be stuck in your circumstances give flow an opportunity um, let flow come into your life and even though you might be resistant. Uh, to some kind of flow here. You might be resistant to a new experience here. Um, you might be doing something like a course uh, or studying something or or working with somebody who you don't particularly like, but doing it is a means to an end because at the end of the day, you will be happy with the result. You will be uh, happy with the result that you would have worked towards even with the help of these people who you do not consider necessarily to your friends or you're not um, particularly happy with them. There's also a sense here that it's it's okay to let go of, uh, of something, of a way in which you might have considered yourself in the past. So it's all right to, to embrace the letting go of, of a particular version of yourself uh, where you might have understood yourself or defined yourself in relation to others or in relation to something else uh, in relation to a particular set of circumstances in relation to your health in relation to a relationship uh, in relation to um, you know any kind of relationship that held you down in a particular way and this is talking about setting up a new starting a new and making progress in that regard in a way that ultimately empowers you and where you can find happiness and you can find joy so the idea is to simply allow that and embrace it and uh, and just to reiterate it might not come in a form that is easy to accept or easy to swallow it might come with a fair bit of difficulty or a fair challenge at hand that you but you can definitely get through that and it's something that you need to embrace in order to be able to move ahead so with these cards they can also be read in another way and um, please check with yourself what resonates with you and go ahead uh, with that so the other way in which these cards may be read is that it's you need to embrace the caution that you need to take and you need to embrace that uh, the tragedy that will come uh, one where there is the endings of something that may cause hardship or pain you may need to embrace something that is a health related issue something that is um, a difficult set of circumstances to work through and to be a part of that will leave you in the company of those that you do not admire or that you do not like and it will be something that you will be grieving as a result but from there comes something that you desire or something that you want in your life and something that is ultimately going to be good for you, ultimately going to bring quite a lot of joy and happiness and fulfillment in your life. And so there is a sense here that um, in order to be able to work through that and to work to that possibility, 
there needs to be something that you need to let go of um in other circumstances this card can also be read as that um it's time to break away from a particular paradigm of thinking with regard to um, medicine or with regard to family life and and basically go on your own path go on a solo journey and uh, find uh, those who have more in common with you elsewhere because right now it's not those who are around you are not necessarily those who are part of your tribe or those that can support your endeavors as you stand right now there is a sense also of being able of having to leave behind that which no longer serves you that which is a poison for you that which represents a tumor for you uh, that eats away at you a cancer that eats away at you and not to be sad or it, to mourn briefly the um, the passing of that and then to move on to happier times and to to greener pastures so to say if you are indeed facing tragedy at the moment if you are indeed in a rough situation in your life at the moment in pain in suffering in difficulty then this card is all these these the set of cards is also talking about how you can um just pace yourself and get through this and when you're at the other end of it there will be something waiting for you which will bring you much happiness so there's nothing to despair here it's all it, it's really a good reading and a reading which talks about how you can uh have to walk through challenges at times in your life but that you are able to reach the goal that you wish for and it might actually end up to being better than you even would have imagined in your life all right so i'm going to leave it at that and i hope that this reading has been re is resonant with you in some way uh, let me know down in the comment section and i wish you a blessed time ahead and for those of you who have chosen the third option here we have the biedermeyer aufschlagkarten and I'm going to give them a quick shuffle. And we're asking the question, what shall we embrace? What is it that we need to embrace at this time of our lives? So I don't read these cards in a reversed uh, fashion. What I do is I rely on my clairvoyance or my intuition to be able to channel a message for you. So I'm going to use these cards as a means to link to you. And then I'm going to now just channel a message to you using these cards, not for their exact meanings, but just for, as I mentioned, a link to you. So for those of you who've chosen the third option here, the cards have come together in a really nice way here and I feel that the overriding message for you is that uh, you need to be loyal to yourself, you need to be true to yourself and to what you desire, especially if it's um, if one of the things you desire is to travel, to go somewhere, to do something that you haven't done before. And the card here is saying that you know you can expect unexpected joy from this, you can expect to be quite happy doing so if you are loyal to your dreams if you are loyal to yourself and if you allow yourself to transform to shift to move to travel um, but the other meaning of these cards is that it's saying almost that you know if you do have anger if you do have sadness if you do have um, issues or, or situations in your life that still need to be healed that it's going to accompany you on your journey and what what this card is saying is that you don't need to have figured it all out before you begin on your journey. You don't need to have, you know, um, healed all the wounds or, or uncovered everything and worked through everything. You don't need to have done all your invoicing. You don't need to have done all your taxes. You don't need to have done um, all the admin or all the the healing or all the um, chores that you need to do. Uh, before you go on your journey, before you set off, before you head off. Um, and the card's also saying here that to do it more spontaneously, to do it um, with joy, to do it frivolously, to do it in a way that is just basically following your path without any hesitation. And also uh, that it's 
you know, you are going to accompany yourself on this journey and there are going to be matters to be healed. There are going to be situations which will bring up your anger, which will bring up your sadness and where you will need to be and deal with that. It's not like you're leaving yourself behind or locking yourself in a closet and then just uh, journeying uh, without that other aspect of yourself. And, you know, it's also talking about coming into balance with that part of you that you don't necessarily feel proud of and um, that part of you which you find hard to accept about yourself but to just move ahead anyway and to to you will find unexpected joy that is the the kind of focus of this is that there is unexpected joy to be found there is um, a greater essence of you to be discovered and this does not mean that the, the shadow aspect of you or that part of you which you find difficult to embrace completely about yourself will not accompany you and the cards here are saying well embrace that about yourself embrace the fact that you know you're not always going to be at your best you're not always going to manage as well as you need to there are going to be moments when you have emotions when you have reactions to particular situations which you may not necessarily feel proud of or comfortable with and you don't necessarily uh, want to define yourself by those particular characteristics that you might have but it's okay to embrace who you are it's okay to take that part with you along because you need to heal that part of yourself or you need to still work on that part of yourself and that is something that uh, this journey that you're going to embark upon is going to help you with and you don't need to have fixed it all you don't need to have done all the repairs before you set off and I feel that that is the main message here if you are married if you are in a relationship with someone a committed relationship with someone it talks about the the loyalty being a journey that the loyalty itself is a journey. The fact that at times you may not feel as loyal. At times you may, that loyalty may be strained. At times that loyalty may be questioned. And it talks about there being uh, more challenging moments in the relationship and less challenging moments in the relationship. And in between that, um, there, is mo there are moments of joy. There are moments of satisfaction. They are unexpected moments of joy, something that you learn about your partner that you didn't know before, and something that it's something that you might not be looking forward to necessarily, but something that surprises you. And it talks about embracing that journey. It's about embracing the simplicity of their journey, of just going about being with each other and weathering the difficult times and enjoying those moments in the moment when something unexpected and joyful occurs there's also another meaning to these cards and it talks about when you when going along with life um tempering yourself tempering that of which you're not necessarily excited about not that that which you find difficult to bear and and moving along nevertheless there's another card, meaning here which talks about when you're setting off on your own to actually continue to maintain your relationships with people around you that you have back home. So you may be setting off on a journey alone, but you may be neglecting those relationships that you have forged or that you've built along the way already. And that might cause you sadness later on in the future. And it may cause um, you an upset as a result. So there are several meanings to these, this card, these cards. But I feel that the most important meaning here is about creating balance in one's life. And that balance also includes being loyal to yourself, being loyal to the journey that you've chosen, whether it be with someone else or just yourself. And moving along with that and paying attention for those moments of joy when they do come up and being in the moment at that moment and not looking forward always or looking in the past always and simply going along with life as it presents itself and dealing with what needs to be dealt in a given moment. So I'm going to leave it there with you. I hope that this message has resonated. Do let me know if it does down in the comment section below and I uh, wish you a blessed time ahead. And for those of you who've chosen the fourth, the fourth option, it's Le Petit Cato Mancien. Uh, excuse my French pronunciation. I do apologize for that. 
And um, yeah, we're asking the question, what shall we embrace? What is it that we need to embrace right now? I'm going to give these cards a quick shuffle and I'm going to find out for you what is it that we need to embrace at this moment. Now, I want to say that I don't read these cards in the reverse position. I just read them standing upright. And so... Those of you who've chosen the option number four, these cards read like a love reading, I have to say. And the question we ask is, what shall we embrace? And I see here that the cards that come up as for what can be embraced, what should be embraced. Well, you should embrace this man that's coming to your life who's perhaps blonde. There is a chance of that. Uh, this person does not necessarily have to come in the form of a relationship. It may come in the form of, you know, a car dealership. Perhaps you want to buy a car and the person who's working there has blonde hair. Or it might be that uh, somebody at the bank has blonde hair and they're going to offer you something or help you with something. And so this isn't necessarily a love relationship. However, it does say that, well, the question we're asking is, what shall we embrace? And the first card that comes up is the he is a young, blonde man. And so I would say that, look out for that. That can be literal. It can actually be a young, blonde man who gives you something, who offers you something, and you need to be open-minded about it, or at least consider what is being offered. The other option here is that there is somebody who is blonde who you might be meeting um, and who you could should actually consider going on a date with or going out with or considering a, a venture with. Um, there might be just a young man who comes into your life or a young naive man that comes into your life. Well, it doesn't necessarily mean that this person is blonde. It, the cards here also talk about there being a death that means the ending of something or the beckoning of something that is to be ended and then the it talks about a quarrel or it talks about a fight and then um and then you know being friends again or making up again or the resuscitation of something and i would say here that you know the this these cards all together suggest that it's okay to get involved in a relationship it's okay to give a love a chance again it's okay for those ups and downs that may come at the beginning of new love it's okay to give somebody with blonde hair young blonde man a chance it's okay to give somebody who's young and uh, naive a chance so if you think you have taking on an apprentice um, then go ahead and do something like this if you are uh, thinking of going on a date with somebody who fits this description then go ahead with that but note that there may be difficulties in this or there would be ups and downs. It's not necessarily something to be avoided or something to be shunned, but rather that one can go ahead and embrace uh, this adventure or this time with the, with a, a particular person. It also talks about how, the, you know, perhaps you may meet somebody and embrace, um, you know, some kind of uh, romantic uh, rendezvous or some kind of romantic encounter with this person and get all excited about it but then it might be that they they turn out to just be a friend at the end and this is something that you could also embrace it could also be that this young man irritates you annoys you is a little bit of annoyance and you would not consider him particularly but if you were to give him a chance then you could find that you could have a fair amount of joy with him a fair amount of fun with him and um, good clean fun and uh, that it isn't necessarily that you need to uh, argue with each other or fight with each other and um, it's okay to embrace this it's okay to embrace that this person may have a different point of view or um, may come from a different type of background may have other ideas about life and so this is a um, the, yeah, the, this is what these cards mean. Now, for those of you who are have no one around you who's a blonde gentleman, a young blonde gentleman, then I would suggest that you don't need to take this card literally. It could also just mean somebody who is young and eager and willing and slightly naive, okay? So if there is somebody like that who... who um, 
who fits that description. It could be yourself as well. It could be you who's who's a bit young, a bit naive when it comes to this, a bit excited about something, but you're not really sure of the the way ahead. And then you may, in fact, uh, it it encourages you here to go ahead and network, be do those meetings to you know meet with other people, and um, and get to know people, be open to to dating, being op- being open to meeting other people. And they're not being too quick to cut away people or fight with them, but rather to develop friendships. Don't be afraid to develop friendships. Don't be uh, hesitant to develop uh, these friendships. And it's okay to actually go ahead and give yourself the opportunity to meet others at this moment. I definitely think here there's a chance to be able to meet someone and not to be that you don't need to be afraid of meeting people. You don't need to be afraid of actually getting out there and seeing someone and and uh, making new friends, embracing the opportunity to get to know others, allowing yourself to to start dating again if you haven't been doing that for a long time and if you've been single or alone, allowing new love into your life. And at first, as it says, you know, this person may be quarrelsome they may be argumentative it might be that you want to cut uh things away uh but to just give it a chance and you will find that there's greater love to be uncovered in this situation now does this always end in love well it doesn't necessarily mean that it could actually just end in a friendship it could be that you find uh, a common ground with each other and you're happy to have found that common ground it could be that you learn something from each other that you needed to learn that a part of you that you needed to uncover or discover or to be a part of you that needed to be matured or to be enlightened in a particular art and so this is something where at the end of the day there is happiness there is joy there is some something gained something fulfilled and it's something that you can look forward to so allow yourself to embrace new opportunities and and to, to allow allow yourself to meet new people and to get to know new people and even if there is a chance even if it looks like it's a short ended a short lived uh process don't cut it off before it begins allow it to actually develop or take root and uh you don't need to go into a relationship with someone uh, looking for something wrong about them or something looking for dis- differences or disagreements with them you you can actually you know focus on on the goodness that they have in them and simply you know meet them at that point as opposed to meeting them at their prejudices and at their differences all right so i'm going to leave this there with you i the message here is when we ask what is it that we shall embrace you shall embrace something new, you shall embrace that which is um, eager, you shall embrace uh, getting to know others, you shall embrace networking, you should embrace going out with others, you shall embrace others also who have different opinions than you and who are in in a different in a different spectrum from you and you shall embrace the the love that can be unearthed in that so um i hope that resonates i hope that makes sense for you and i hope that as you go along you will let me know what that actually meant for you all right wishing you much love and take good care and for those of you who've chosen the number five the option number five we have the zigoina varsagen carton here or varsaga carton and um that basically translate to translates to gypsy uh, fortune telling cards we're asking the question today what shall we embrace what is it that we need to embrace in our lives at this moment and um i'm going to go ahead and lay out these cards right now so for those of you who've chosen the fifth option here these are some really interesting cards uh the first card is some money the second card is just money the third card is eclastic And the uh, fourth card is melody or or sickness. And the fifth card is love. So we're asking what shall we embrace? And the first thing that I see is money. And then more money. And I would say prayer or or some form of structured um, spirituality or connection with the divine. And and then it says the melody or or difficulty it could be difficulty could be sickness and love 
And so I think here the message is talking about being more open to abundance, open to abundance, whether it's in the form of love or money or or one's connection to the divine, not being afraid to be connected to the divine, not be afraid to actually connect, uh, to be open to, to understanding, to hearing messages, not not shrinking or contracting, but rather expanding and growing. And I feel here, you know, where it says, it's part of the question is like, what do we embrace? And, and the card like melody or sickness comes up. I would say that um, it's important to recognize that at times the body's way of um, letting us know that something is not in balance, something is not okay, is by making us sick. It's it's by uh, calling our attention. And so this is also a form of abundance if you have to really look at it because it's our body's way of abundantly clearly telling us what is wrong so that we can take action, so we can rectify um, the, the, the imbalance that we have in our bodies. And so I, I would see this not necessarily as something bad, but something as a warning system, as something before something fails. It's a warning system before something fails. And um, so I would see this as a lot of uh, positivity coming your way and and uh, and also the chance of being able to work towards more positivity. And, uh, and then the only thing that it's asking you for here is, well, can you embrace it? Are you able to embrace this? And are you embrace? You know, it's like embracing a particular attitude as such, because what you're asking for here really is to welcome that money into your life, welcome more wealth into your life, welcome love into your life, welcome belief into your life, belief in the divine, belief in the ability to manifest, belief in yourself, and to welcome the idea of love in your life, welcome the idea of sharing your life with someone, of loving someone, and opening your heart. For, to that and of course welcoming the ability to be able to bring your body into greater balance than it already is there's a sense here that um, one simply needs to allow abundance to come into your life to allow it not to stop it not to close the door on it not to you know shut it out but to actually welcome it and um, it feels to me like there's not much that you need to do. It feels to me that you're surrounded by abundance. It comes to you in all different forms. And uh, sometimes it's difficult to see it because we have a very particular, specific idea of what abundance looks like. And sometimes we don't realize it. We fail to realize it when it's all around us because it doesn't fit that description that we have already in mind uh, for it. And so I think here... And uh, it's almost saying, get out of your own way, um, you know, just let it be, let it come through. Don't hesitate. Don't feel overwhelmed. Don't feel like you need to control everything, that you need to control all the money that comes in, or all the wealth that comes in. And if somebody wants to purchase you something or somebody wants to give you something, somebody offers you um, a home or a car or an opportunity a job perhaps a form of studies if they offer to finance your studies go ahead and accept this offer because this is ultimately going to bring you to a great of play of betterment and um and going to help you increase your value and it's going to help you improve your life as well so i feel here that you know one needs to be able to accept to be willing to accept to be able to receive and this is what this message is about it's about are you willing to receive you know and what shall you embrace well you shall embrace all that life has to offer you and how is it that you can do that what what is going to be on your conscious conscience as you do so well it's your relationship to your your definition of what is divine and your own sense of what is okay and not okay and uh, to make peace with that and um, what can you expect as a result? Well, you can expect love as a result because what you're doing when you're embracing abundance in your life, when you're allowing abundance to come into your life, what you're doing is that you're embracing love 
in a, in a different form. You are loving in that moment. You are loving yourself. You are loving another. You're loving, you're putting the vibration of love into the world. And so this year is talking about being able to embrace the vibration of love and doing so by loving yourself. And how do you do that? It's by receiving. It's about allowing it into your life, about getting out of your way so that you can embrace more of it in your life. Okay, so I'm going to leave you there with that message. I hope that that has resonated and that message does help you as you go along. I'm wishing you all a very abundant time with much love and many, many blessings. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.